So I've restricted the screen now. Welcome back, by the way. Sorry, this is tutorial 14, part four. Uh, I've restricted it now to just the, uh, the view on the screen you have here is of the terminal session into router R1 that we started from our GNS3. And we're now gonna, we're already in enable mode, so we're gonna do a conf t. Whoops. Wow, if I could spell. We're in configuration mode. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is, um, um, we know that we've got an FA0 and an FA1, both slash zero. So we wanna first of all put our 10 address onto our Ethernet interface um, 00. So in order to do that, we go into the interface fa0 slash 0. And on here, we're going to do an IP address of 10.0.0.2. I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make the other end of the link because um, it's on a slash 30 uh, network. To do that, we add the mask. 252 and then we're just going to do a no shot so that should come up in a second and uh, then we're going to go to interface fa uh, whoops interface fa1 slash zero we'll go over there you can see now that ethernet interface has come up it's changed from administratively down where we ended the last video to being up now um, we're going to add an ip address on this one and this time it's going to be 172.16.1.1 um, and I'm going to make this a 24-bit mask as well. Let's do a no shot there. Perfect. So that's the two interfaces are up. Um, if I exit out of here and I exit out of here um, and I want to copy uh, running config to startup config just to make sure we keep that and I go show IP interface brief there they are so both up running okay that's what we wanted and um, now we want to set up a DHCP pool for our PCs they are still in the diagram so there they are we want to set up a DHCP pool so that we can grab addresses for those things, uh, for those two PCs. So in order to do that, we go back into conf t. From there, we want to do IP uh, DHCP. Now it's interesting; it'll be totally different on the Viata, um, in that we actually on a Cisco want to set up the excluded addresses first. Uh, on the Viata, we'll be doing it the other way. We'll be adding an, an inclusion zone, if you want to call it that. I'm sure people won't, but um, you know it does it in the opposite way. So what we're going to say is that we have excluded um, addresses, and those excluded addresses are 172.16.1.1 to 172.16.1.2. Okay, we're going to exclude those. Now remember we're running VLANs here, so we're going to have a VLAN 2 and a VLAN 3. So VLAN 2 will have this address range. So we're going to exclude those addresses, as in VLAN 2 will be a 172.16.2 network. And VLAN 3, when we set it up in a second, will have the 3s. And we're going to exclude those as well. So that means in the DHCP pool, we will only have addresses 101 at the end here, 101 to 254 available to us. 255 will be the broadcast, yeah? Okay, so now we can say IP DHCP pool, um, I don't know, let's call it MyNet, yeah? And then, now we're in the DHCP config, we're going to set the default router uh, is going to be 172.16.1.1 which is the port that we set up earlier we're going to hey just for the purposes of uh, completeness you would usually set up a, a dns server ours is not on the web so it, it won't matter that it's in there well, if i could spell again you don't want a dns server you want a dns server 
Um, then we're going to set up a domain name. And the domain name for this is going to be tutorial14.local. Let's call it that. Why not? Um, and then network to add the actual network that this is going to be on is 172.16.1.0 and it's a 24 mask. Yeah, or I think on this we have to have. See, again on Viata you can bunch it right up to it, but on this you have to have a space there. Space just there. Okay, that's the first DHCP pool set up. Now we want another DHCP pool. This one, let's try and emulate a three tier um, application. So we'll call this the app layer. Yeah, and on our app layer, we're going to have a default router again, and that, this time it's on the second VLAN. So it's going to be 16.2.1. Then we will have our DNS again. Um, we won't really have one, but for the purposes of completeness, this is how you set it up. Domain name is tutorial14.local. And its network is going to be on the 172.16. This is the second VLAN. And a slash 24. Exit out of that one, that's the second pool. Now we have the final pool. Oh, I might as well type it in. You can arrow up to, to make it quicker. Um, and this time it'll be as if it was a database layer in here. We'll set up its default router is going to be 172.16. Oh, amazingly, three. Um, whoops. I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. Um, 3.1, not the network address, it wants to be on 3.1. Um, then we will have DNS server, oh. and then domain name, tutorial14.local, and its network is 172.16.3.0. That's where the network goes. Yep. Okay. Okay, that should, in theory, give us everything we need. Yeah. Now we need some sub interfaces, virtual interfaces on our FA um, 1 slash 0 for those two VLANs that we just set up, VLAN 2 and VLAN 3. Remembering, of course, that this has a trunk connection on the native VLAN 1, but we have the two PCs, this is on VLAN 2, this is on VLAN 3, so they need an Ethernet interface to talk to. To do that, we're going to create virtual or fake um, interfaces or sub interfaces within um, or on top of our actual physical interface 1 slash 0. So in order to do that, it's very simple. We'll stay in config mode and we go interface FA1 slash 0. Amazingly, 0.2 for the second VLAN. Now we're in that interface, we can say um, that the encapsulation is going to be dot 1Q and it's for VLAN 2. Okay. Now we've done that, we're going to set the IP address of this um, of this actual interface, which is going to be 172.16.2.1, and it's on a 255.255.255.0 is its mask. Okay, we're going to bring that interface up. Whoa, my typing today, honestly, I think it's like this all the time. Now we need to do the same for uh, our virtual interface 10.3. And we're going to encapsulate again, make sure it can trunk up. Oh. And it needs three um, because it's for the three network. Um, and then 
IP address is 3.1. See, I use the arrow up there because my typing is so bad. No shut and exit and exit and let's copy that. You can see the configuration there has been accepted. Uh, run to start and we'll have it in the startup config. Okay, so now we should be able to show IP interface brief. And there they are. So we have our three networks. We have two virtual networks and our actual physical one. So okay, so let's uh, let's actually see if this worked. Um, I'm going to move that off to the side here. Just pop it on the side. In theory, when we start this machine, and we start this machine, and now I'm going to bring up a console. Here's the console for our first, for our first virtual PC. Um, if I do a show IP, yeah, it's got nothing. So, in theory, our DHCP is actually up. So we want to actually see whether that's now providing from our Cisco router, our DHCP. It's a moment of truth, really, or else I'm doing some extra work and I'm going to have to pause this all. Um, so IP DHCP is all you have to type. It will send off a discover, another discover. Oh, there we are, a request and an acknowledge. Excellent. And it's been given it's on VLAN 2 it's been given the first address available in the range remember we did the exclusion and the exclusions were and there they are we excluded any addresses from 1 to 100 so amazingly the first address available will be 101 which it has excellent let's just move that out of the way let's get up PC2 it's already started, so we can bring up its console. There it is. Let's do IPDH. Well, let's do show IP first. So you can see it's got no address. Doesn't know what it's doing. Discover, discover, offer. Come on. Yes, request and acknowledge. There you go. And it's on the three network. That's exactly what we'd expect. Now, Hopefully, if uh, our trunking is working, we will be able to go to 101. Time out, time out. Yes, there we go. Took a little bit to realize where it was going, but that's fine. And obviously the same will work in reverse for our other side, uh, 3.101. Yeah, because it already knows it didn't have any slowdown. Excellent. It's exactly what we wanted to see. So, our left-hand side is all up and running. All up and running. This interface is there. We've configured it, but we haven't, we haven't got anything on the right-hand side working. So, join me in the next part. We'll get the right-hand side working, and we'll do this all for... Uh, we've done the switch, so we'll do it all for the Viata, and we'll create a DHCP server.